Is that a green heron? I think so. Green heron. Oh wait, no, that's not a green heron. Maybe it is, I don't know. Could that have possibly been, I didn't get a good look at it color-wise, but that might have been an American bittern, I'm not sure. Yeah, we're gonna turn around, okay. We haven't seen a bittern in a while. So this is good to see. So if you're if you're unfamiliar, this is an American bittern, and it's in the heron family. Smaller than a great blue heron, larger than a green heron, and with the striping on its breast that we see right here, I would say it's likely a juvenile. And the only reason why I saw it is because I saw it fly in and then continued to look for it. First uh, American bittern we've seen this year, and I believe we may have seen some last year, but this is definitely the first this year. I'm going to look around while you're looking at that. Sometimes, you know, you come up here, you see nothing. Or maybe you don't see much, but something like this makes it worthwhile. I love these, these birds, and it's a treat to see them. So you get, you get a sighting like this, and it makes it all worthwhile, makes the trip worthwhile. Great blue heron has apparently consumed its meal and it's it's flying on now. If you were to see one of these, uh, an, an American bittern standing, um, you know, upright and next to some of the reeds that are here, they're almost impossible to see. Well, they are for me anyway. So like I said, for me, this is a treat to see it. We'll stay with it a bit. I mean, it's interesting to watch. Uh, I'll try to maybe zoom in in a moment. Well, like maybe now. I'm going to lighten it up a little bit just for detail, just and temporarily. Because it is. I don't know if it's really truly backlit, but well, maybe I'll darken it. And we are getting a little bit of heat shimmer.
see this feels very hot right now. Uh, that eagle that we saw, the adult, earlier is uh, now in flight. By the way. sight of it very very soon by the looks of things that was wonderful okay uh, but it's now walked into the grasses and I don't see it at all now maybe if I drive forward a few feet I might might be able to see it but I don't believe so um, nice to see though that was pretty cool coming back up did it eat already Wow Not bad. Came right back out. Um, Eagles back in the air and coming back our way, and I mean I'm not gonna I'm not gonna zoom in on it. It's not very close, but I think it landed in the same spot it was in before. I can't see it now because it's behind some branches. So again, if you're just tuning in, we're looking at an American bittern. It's in the great blue heron. It's in the same family as the great blue heron, the great egret. American bittern, uh, I'm sorry, the um, least bittern, uh, the snowy egret, green heron, all, all of those are in the, the heron family. And we're watching a, an American bittern right now. Um, might be out of our view. Timing is, is so, so important. And you know, had we been here just a few minutes earlier, we would have missed this. Uh, now we're getting some of that heat shimmer. the naked eye, I'm not sure I can see it. No, I'm looking, I'm not, I'm not sure I see it. Well, maybe I do, but there's no, I mean, I know where it is, but I can't, there's no way I would, um, without having known that it's there, there's no way I'd be able to see it. Or notice it, I should say. Well, I know there are more of them there. I just don't, I don't see them. Well, I looked away for a second. Not bad. Just a little.
wish I could show you what it looks like with the naked eye. How hidden it is. So we're, you know, right now we know where it is, so it's, we're able to kind of follow it, but. We won't be on it all day, but this is just neat to see. There's another car that's technically, even though we're facing the wrong way, technically behind us. And I'm wondering what they're seeing, if anything. Because they've been there a bit. I can't believe they're looking at this American Bittern, just because of the vegetation that would be blocking their view. see some of the vegetation moving, but it doesn't feel like any of that breeze is coming in here. Heard a swamp sparrow again. Maybe two. Uh, in the distance, by the way, oh, I'll look with binoculars. I believe I, I, I mentioned, I saw it earlier, I haven't mentioned it yet, but uh, I'm not sure if it's a, it might be a common gallon. Oil. Try to look with binoculars while holding the camera. Actually, might be wood duck. Might be a wood duck or two. I, I'm not sure. We'll look at those in a moment. We've seen three successful strikes by this by this American bittern. Pretty cool. Um, really, you know, the birds of of the heron family are pretty amazing. And again, you can say that about a lot of birds. Uh, I believe they are wood ducks I'm hearing. And something seems to be disturbing them a little bit. Or something. Uh, it's, I believe, a mother and babies. There it is.
Okay. <laughs> Now, if this is the first time you've ever seen an American bittern, don't think that just because it, you know, it's so successful they can't miss. I'm sure there are times when they can miss. But this has been kind of a treat to see this. And we'll stay with it just a, a little bit longer. I, I hope it's not boring anybody, but, um, oh, I see in the air, I thought I heard a rattle. I see a belted kingfisher. Whoop. There you are. This is actually a little bit better just by the lighting right now. You get a, a slightly better look just because it's a little, kind of, sort of, a little bit out of the sun. We have some vegetation blocking our view, but. Birds are amazing. Ever since the f I saw the very first one I've ever seen, which was at Sapsucker Woods. Credit goes to Mark Chow. Uh, I've wanted to see them more and better. No. I think we're going to move along. Uh, let me just back up just a little bit, see if maybe we get it back in view. Uh, possibly, but maybe not. Okay. Um, no, it doesn't look like it. But anyway, that was wonderful.